What is up, everybody? And welcome back to the Gaming Station Podcast. This is episode 8.5 because it is going to be just me. Um, hopefully everybody's been having a wonderful last month and a half, I think. Um, I know it's been a long time. The reason why we're doing 8.5 is because uh, me and Patty and Pat Man uh, just haven't had a scheduled to where we link up and are able to create a uh, podcast. So there's been a lot of news. Uh, I know the last time we talked about uh, upcoming games about a month and a half ago. So stuff like Halo and Halo Infinite. We talked about the new Assassin's Creed, um, new Doom, a bunch of games that I uh, still haven't released yet. But I have some new updates for those and some other stuff because it's been a long time. Um, we were also talking about um, the, or well, we were going to talk about Ninja Doc and Shroud and where they're going to go. Well, it'd been a month and, <laughs> and I think it took a month for Doc to start streaming and he went to YouTube, as you guys probably know. Ninja went to Twitch and Shroud went back to Twitch as well. And they're killing it, um, like we all expected. And they're doing really well. And I hope they uh, continue to do well. And hopefully you guys are out there uh, supporting your favorite creators. And if those three are yours, go check them out, guys. Um, uh, it might not be your platform of choice, but if you want to support somebody, um, support, you know, wherever they go. Their are choices that they make. And uh, so we still don't know anything about, um, at least that I've seen, about why Doc was kicked off of Twitch. But um, speaking about Twitch and streaming, I also stream guys every single night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on weekends, some other time, uh, depending on, you know, when I have a chance to stream. Um, but check that out. I'm uh, on trovo.live forward slash Chatamus is my main site, but you can find me on YouTube as Chatamus Productions, Twitch as Chatamus Gaming, and you can also find me on Facebook, Periscope, it's Chatamus Gaming or Chatamus Productions, uh, and I think there's any other ones, DLive as well uh, as Chatamus. So if you guys want to see gaming content from me, um, like EFT, which we just got done streaming tonight, um, Cuisine Royale and other, many other games. So if you guys want to see that, check that out. Um, so we'll get right into it with, uh, this is, I believe the year of the 35th anniversary for Mario. So that is something that we've all been waiting for. And I wish I could have made the podcast the day of, cause I really wanted to, but I've just been super busy as well with work and uh, family and other stuff like that too. So uh, hopefully everybody's doing well with the, the pandemic that we have going on and hopefully everything starts getting back to normal and uh, everybody, you know, stays healthy. So, but yeah, Mario 35th, let me make sure that we have this right here. 35th anniversary was on, I think the 23rd, no, the third 35th anniversary of Super Mario. I know it was September something. Believe it was on the 3rd of September. So that is huge news. And I know that everybody's been talking about it and waiting for something big to come out and putting older games on to the switch is just going to be amazing. So we have here the 30, 35th anniversary direct um, for Nintendo. And I watched that. Uh, we're not going to show any of that. But uh, yeah, on the 3rd, that's the day that they announced this. So I don't, I don't know if that's the exact day that the 35th anniversary was. But we are on the 35th year since uh, the first Super Mario or Super Mario since the first Mario Brothers released on Nintendo. So, but yeah. That is going to be releasing, I believe, on the 17th or the 18th, I believe. But we have here, if you guys are watching this on um, YouTube, you guys can see the trailer here. Or you guys can just, you know, YouTube it. So looks like it's going to be Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, and, of course, Super Mario, or six, what is it, Super Mario 64. So, which was one of my all-time favorites. I own Galaxy, but I've never played it. I've never played Sunshine and I have probably beaten Super Mario 64 at least once, I want to say. So um, I know on Stadia, I think you can play multiplayer. So I'm kind of hoping they bring something like that to it. But I'm not too sure. But 
if you're not excited, then I mean, maybe it's not for you, but I'm a huge Nintendo fan as we have talked about in the past. So hopefully, like I said, we're going to do hopefully a Mario um, podcast all about Mario since it is the 35th year. So maybe that will be nine or 10. I don't know. Uh, I can't predict uh, what's going to happen in the future, but if I can't even get the guys together, I'm at least going to try to bring you guys some news about games that you might not, you might know about and some games that you might not know about. So check that out. And uh, if you guys want to pre-order that, make sure you do, because I believe they said that it is not going to be, um, let's see. Yeah. So Super Mario Brothers 35 launches on October 1st. Okay. So Super Mario Brothers launches on October 1st, it said. As a digital only game exclusive, the Nintendo Switch Online members. See, I don't, I don't even know what that is. The game will be playable until March thirty first, uh, twenty twenty one. So, Super Mario Brothers thirty fifth launches. I don't even know what that is. Honestly, I don't remember. Maybe that's just like all of the other games. Uh, I'm not sure because. All Stars, I believe, releases on the 18th. I hope so. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Try this. And, yes, September 18th, 2020 is the initial release date. I've already pre-ordered mine. Hopefully, you've already pre-ordered yours as well. Because, as I'm recording this right now, and as it is uploaded on the 16th, that's two days away. So... If you're watching this on the day that it's uploaded, make sure you get it. If you're watching it afterwards, hopefully you got a copy. Make sure you get a copy before the 31st of, I believe, March 2021 because it's going to no longer be uh, available for um, physical. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're going to stop selling it uh, digitally, but they might. All right, so that is for the 35th anniversary. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that, as I am. The next thing up is the Game and Watch. So I heard of these when I was younger. Um, I don't know, remember when I first heard of them. Probably, I mean, it says came out in 1980. So I was born somewhere way after that <laughs> because we don't talk about Chad's age. But anyways, I was born sometime after that, and I heard about these, but I never owned one. I'm hoping to get this one. Um, I have signed up for the list to buy it, but I'm probably not going to be able to get at least the first ones. Um, but it is, I'm looking forward to it. It's coming on November 13th. Pre-order details are coming soon. That is two months from now. Um, and speaking of November 13th, I believe we also have something cool getting away from the Mario thing. So we can talk about that again. Spe speaking of November 13th, that is a big day because I don't know if you guys follow Call of Duty at all, but if you enjoy Call of Duty, Call of Duty Cold War has been revealed. Um, they did this really cool thing that I never even, I don't know if this was a thing before because I've never really played, um, doing a lot of Easter eggs and stuff, but they did an Easter egg hunt technically i don't know if that's the right way to put it but they put hidden codes in warzone which i did watch this uh live somebody was streaming it i don't play warzone that much um i did upgrade my computer so i'm able to play it and stream it now i have played it a couple times um but yeah i'm not a big fan but i have been a big fan of the black ops series um until three i believe so I'm looking forward to that. It looks really good. Like I said, guys, if you're on uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or even on Buzzsprout right now listening to this, check out the video version if you guys want to see this. Or just like I said, look up the trailer on uh, YouTube or wherever you use whatever you use to watch your videos. It's really cool. Um, so next up, guys, we have what we were talking about once before. It was very exciting to watch the trailer and the release of the Marvel Avengers game. Um, I was able to, I pre-ordered it on PlayStation. I, I canceled my pre-order because it's not that it's not a good game, but I know I'm not going to play it on PlayStation. So I played on PlayStation and it is actually really fun. Um, there's some things that I, I know people are not happy about with the microtransactions, which microtransactions has been a big problem for a lot of games over the last few years. But if you guys want to see that as well, uh, you guys can either check out my 
gameplay of it, which is right here. I'm showing as well on the YouTube, so you can check out Chatham's Productions. Like I said, shameless plug. Uh, or you guys can, uh, you know, check that out also on your favorite streaming platform or your favorite streamer, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are playing it because it's not a bad game. It was a lot of fun. I will tell you that it has nothing to do with the game why I canceled my pre-order. I just put it towards, I think, Mario, actually. But uh, I don't play very many games on consoles that are on PC. I prefer to play them on PC, and I don't know if this is going to be cross-platform or not. I'm pre- uh, It probably is. I'm not sure, though. So, But I'd rather play it on PC with friends on PC. I think it's going to be on Steam. So um, if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure where they're going to put it, but I think it was Steam. So, um, And then another game that we did talk about, which I'm not sure why this is showing, uh, that was Rogue Company. Uh, I haven't played it since, but Rogue Company is another new game that is on uh, all platforms. I was invited to the alpha on Switch. Unfortunately, I did not have the time to play that, but the game is really fun. If you like the Valorant, um, Hyperscape, or the older CSGO, there's a lot of games that's like this, where it's pretty much uh, 5v5, and you get to pick your character, or 4v4, pick your character and fight against another 4v4, and you can either get the objective, blah, blah, blah. The game's really fun. It's free to play. Um, check it out if you like those kind of games because it, it might be for you. Um, I do enjoy it. I probably will be going back to it. So just every now and then. Um, it's not on my huge list, but uh, I did play as Hulk. I played as Captain America. I played as a couple others. I can't. I, there's one person on there I don't even know. It's a girl though with the big hand. It's, she's really cool. I didn't expect her to be that fun, but I have no clue what her name is, and I don't even recognize her as a character. So um, one thing you guys might not know about, and one thing I like to bring into the podcast is new games or alphas that are being played that I enjoy. Um, N Area is a new Battle Royale right now, or the last time I played it, which is what you guys are seeing, um, was on uh, was on Steam. I believe. And it was only single player. You can only play one V I think 40 one V 30. Um, it's a good game. It's in alpha. So take that for granted or take that for a grain of salt. It's not for granted. Take that for granted. I can't talk. <laughs> Probably not even going to edit any of this out because I'm just excited to be doing the podcast again. I've missed you guys. I've missed doing the podcast and I miss talking about this stuff. I've always wanted to do these kind of videos, but there's so many people doing it. It's oversaturated um, on YouTube, even in podcasts like news and stuff. But I just wanted to tell you guys about some games and stuff that I was been, I've been playing and I've tried out that I think you guys should either give it a try or even look into it. So, um, while that's going, I'm going to talk about another thing here. Um, so there is another game that I did not actually expect to, uh, try. I haven't actually went back and played it since, unfortunately, but um, that would be what we call a new world. So I think I might have talked about this before where I felt like it looked like a fable like game. I was actually able to play this game and stream it. and It's really fun. Um, if you like uh, MMO RPGs or adventure MMO games, that is definitely a game for you. Um, it is really fun. The character system seems to be really good. I was only able to play a little bit. Um, I say a little bit, I streamed for like five hours straight and played it and it was really fun. Um, so if you guys want to see that as well, you can check that out on YouTube, on my YouTube, or you can check somebody else's out, but the game is beautiful. It runs very well in the alpha that it is in right now and expect it to be coming out here soon. I hope <laughs> it might not even be coming out anytime soon. It's, it's still in preview. So, but they allowed you to stream it, which I think was amazing. Uh, I streamed it in 720 on most sites and 1080 on some sites, but the game itself just felt so beautiful. I played it in 2k. It's such an amazing game. So check that out. That is called new world and, uh, expect that to be coming soon. It's going to be a very big popular game. So next up guys, we have to talk about 
all of the new stuff coming is amazing. And when I say coming, it's coming out in two days. The new graphics cards are coming uh, for NVIDIA. So basically, I haven't followed it since the release information. Um, so basically, the 699 for the GeForce RTX 3080 will be landing on September 17th. Yes, that is in a day and a half, <laughs> two days, two days from now. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one of those and try it out and see what it is like. It is going to be way pow more powerful than the 2080 Ti. Uh, I'm not a tech guy, which I've told you guys about this, so I don't know anything about all the specs and stuff. Uh, if you guys want that, look it up. The RTX 3080 uh, will be landing on the 17th, and then the RTX 3090 will be coming on September 24th. So check that out. But that is for $14.99, the GeForce RTX 3090. Very expensive. It is what is replacing the Titan. So really, if you are into like higher graphics and you can afford that, um, there you go. If you can't, go with the 3080. And if the $699 price tag is a little expensive for you, you can always wait for the RTX 3070, which is coming out on October 15th for $499. So, and that is going to destroy. Well, I think it's a little bit better than the uh, 2080 Ti, but there is some things that aren't as good, but it is basically, it's a newer model and it's going to, um, it's going to be amazing. So I'm going to try to get me the 3080. I was already looking at getting a 2080 Ti uh, prior to all this information. So, and also since we're, we're not biased, I don't know if I'm going to look into this, but um, after NVIDIA released their, GPUs. Um, AMD has its own next gen RDNA two. I don't. I don't know why it's it's that. It's a two based big Navi Radeon RX six thousand series. I believe that's. I'm just reading this off of the web. So um, that will be announced. Not not released. I don't know anything about release date, but that will be announced on October twenty eighth. So um, if you're AMD and you like those. GPUs, check those out. I have a CPU now of AMD, um, but I have, I'm sticking with right now GPU of NVIDIA. So, and I believe NVIDIA is in the process or is did buy, um, what is it? A and D, I believe. Let me see. NVIDIA buys ARM, A R M. I don't know what that is. Um, for $40 billion, I, I know it's a company that creates, um, CPUs, but I thought it was for only, um, mobile devices. So, but that is coming soon. That was released, I believe as of today or Sunday. So a couple days ago, yesterday. Um, but yeah, age of AI. I don't know anything about that, but if you guys are interested in that, check that out. Um, I will say that I don't like the, the look of the new graphics cards. I think it's a little bland comparative to the 1080 Ti, the 2080 Ti, uh, or the 20 series and the 10 series were pretty crazy looking. Um, I mean, I have a, uh, 20 or 1070 Ti, which I love, um, I've been streaming with it and it's just amazing. I went from a 1060 to that. So I can't even imagine how the 3080 is going to perform if I get my hands on it. So uh, I know our micro center is not going to be holding it. So I'm going to have to go to a, uh, store. <laughs> so probably Best Buy or something, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean this to me, I don't like this. This is just not to me, that just looks very plain, but I do, I do like the silver or the silver, copper, silver look to it. But, um, but yeah, if that's, if that's for you guys, then, uh, check that out. So, um, other than that, I really don't have too much else. Um, if you guys want to support the, uh, the podcast, the gaming station podcast, me, Patty and Patrick, um, and future, future guests to be announced soon, um, with you know, future hosts slash guests, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, we do have the merch store, which I think I talked about last time going live. I know I talked about it in the previous episodes that we're going to make one. We finally did make one. So if you guys want to check that out and help support the podcast, that is one way, um, to do it. 
You support it directly through me and Janimus Productions. So we have mouse pads, we have hoodies, we have coffee mugs, tank tops, and then more to come. We have I haven't got anything yet. I haven't ordered anything yet. Um, but so this is everything here. Uh, the mouse pad is definitely one of the things I'm going to be ordering. Um, and probably a few shirts. I'm going to get a couple shirts for the two boys as well as myself and a, probably a hoodie because it is now September and it's pretty cold. So, um, speaking about September, um, it's the 19th year anniversary of nine 11. So to all the families and everybody out there was affected by that. Um, my heart goes out to you as well. Um, it's very, uh, crazy the world that we live in nowadays. So with the pandemic going on now, it's just very crazy. Uh, but yeah. So if you guys want to see more from me besides just the podcast, you guys can check out, like I said, Chatamus productions over on YouTube where I stream as well as Facebook, Twitch D live. And my number one site where I'm trying to get partnered with again, I was partnered for about four months, five months. And that is Trovo. I believe. Yeah. Trovo. Sorry. I'm making sure I didn't say it because it used to be called Mad Cat. I know we talked about this a long time ago, but it turned into Trovo. That is the name uh, that they have now. So check that out. Um, we'll go ahead and talk about a few things more here. Um, being a couple games that I do enjoy that have new updates. One of them being, I don't know why half naked girls are at the top of the screen there, but Daisy um, has a new update. Um, if you guys like those kind of games, it's like a survival game with zombies, but it's a, uh, PVP and I think you can do PVE, um, server based game, um, Daisy and another game that is also very much like that is called miscreated. Um, and it is basically the same type of concept. Um, uh, they both had an updated, updated, an update. So check that out. Um, those are really good games. I enjoy playing them. Just survival miscreated Canyon lands was an older DLC. And let's see here. Yeah, it looks like it's very much like Daisy, but, um, so basically you get in the game and you search around for loot and you pretty much just try to survive and you try to fight off anybody or maybe even make friends with other people. Uh, to play with. So if that's your type of game, check that out as well. Um, so I think there is some more news about possibly a new Silent Hill slash a new Final Fantasy 16. Um, I heard that today, actually. I don't know anything about that, but maybe we'll talk about that in the next episode uh, of the Gaming Station podcast. That'll be episode nine. So this is episode 8.5 because <laughs> it's just me. Uh, we're going to plan to have others in here for episode nine. Uh, maybe Patty and Patrick will come back, hopefully. Um, but uh, the other last couple games I want to talk about, which I'm sure you guys have already heard of, one of them being Among Us, which I have actually played and had fun. I'm not going to lie. I had fun playing it. I get kind of bored with those kind of games, the party games. I don't like playing them a lot. There's a lot of people like Fall Guys that just like playing it nonstop, and I can't do that. I just don't find it that fun. Uh, it is very fun. Uh, a lot of people are playing it all over the place. So basically, if you have played Town of Salem, you would be very familiar with a game like this. So or if not, basically the concept of the game is, is you jump in with one to four, you can go one to four or all the way up to 10 players. And the point of the game is you run around doing tasks and one to two to three people you can choose. Like there's customizable settings for the game. That's why I'm like, not sure. I know you can do one to 10 players and I think you can have up to two or three imposters. So basically you have to run around, do your tasks and survive and then try to figure out who the imposter is. The game is really fun, but like I said, we played it for two and a half hours and it, it was, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the company I was playing with more than I enjoyed the game, but the game itself is fun. So if you like games like that, it's kind of like Jackbox party, those type of games um, where you can just join in with a bunch of people It is free on a set on your cell phone or on mobile devices, probably iPods as well. Uh, I'm not sure about that. So don't, don't quote me on that, but 
You have to pay for it on Steam, and it's really cheap. I, I didn't buy it, actually. Uh, the guy that I'm playing with right here, uh, Major Monk, uh, which is a good friend of mine, he bought it for me and made me play it. So <laughs> that was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed playing with them. And uh, if it's for you, you know, check it out. Um, if it's not for you, you know, don't check it out if you don't like those kind of party games. But it is something I will be playing in the future. So, like I said, if you want to see that, uh, shameless plug, I do stream every single night. So um, I do also do polls of what you guys would like to see me play. Um, so check that out. That might be in the poll in the future. So also check out the Discord, guys. If you guys want to know the Discord, it is in the YouTube um, description. Um, it is also possible that you guys can email me on any of the other uh, sites. If you guys are listening to this right now on any of the other sites, check out the description. You can email me and I will send you the discord link. Uh, I don't actually have the discord link in the YouTube, but there is a way to email me or message me um, through any of my streaming sites or in YouTube. So check that out. Um, the other game I was going to talk about and I heard just like literally 20, 30 minutes ago, we were talking about it. Um, the Fable, which we watched the trailer, Fable is not going to be set in Albion, I believe is what somebody said. So this is just word of mouth. It's kind of surprising. So that's just kind of new, new news on Fable. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of do want a fresh start. Um, if you guys played Fable, you know, let me know. You guys can always uh, interact with me on stream or even message me or whatnot. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it might be a good a good thing. Um, because Fable Legends, as you guys see here, or as you hear me talking about, did fail. Um, Lionhead Studios went bankrupt, and the Fable Legends, which was supposed to come out seven, eight years ago, six, seven years ago, um, was a huge failure. And that was just, it was not good. So I was literally looking forward to it, but unfortunately it just didn't happen. So, um, the other things that we had talked about, I think that was, that was pretty much it. Uh, Halo Infinite was pushed back. Um, they pushed it back on August 11th. Uh, they announced Halo Infinite would be delayed until 2021. Uh, there was a lot of bad reviews and a lot of people were upset with the, um, the trailer, I, I we might've talked about this on the previous episode, but it's been so long, um, that I, I don't remember anything, um, about what we talked about. So, um, if that is duplicate information, I'm sorry, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's just, it's crazy. Um, I was really looking forward to it coming out with the Xbox, um, so, and speaking about the Xbox, since I haven't gotten to that yet, we did talk about the 38 series and the AMD GPUs coming out, but next gen console news is the 599 price tag for the Xbox series X, um, which PlayStation five, I heard just yesterday, I believe that they're going to maybe be lower than that possibly. Um, but there was a leak that caused Xbox or Microsoft to come out with their price tags. I believe it's five ninety nine and three ninety nine uh, for the Xbox Series S. So, if you guys want more information about that, check that out. I mean, if that's something you guys are interested in, I'm going to be getting both most likely eventually. Uh, I don't know when or what I'm going to do with that, but maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm looking forward to them, but since Halo's not coming out, I don't see a reason to rush on getting the Xbox Series X. Um, Cyberpunk, obviously I'm going to be getting that as soon as it comes out, but that's going to be on PC, and it is a single-player game, which, like I said, I'm not too happy about. I was kind of hoping for it to be an MMORPG. You guys let me know what, what you guys think about that and uh, whether or not you're excited um, for a solo game kind of like that so one last thing uh i didn't expect to even mention anything about this but i heard about this game from this guy uh this is one of the guys that i watched like i said youtube's oversaturated with people talking about new games new content new stuff coming out um this is one of the guys that i do follow and subscribe to his name's wood hawker check him out beat em ups is his youtube channel um, he is playing a game called Immortal Phoenix Rising. It had a different name, 
and it looks very much like Breath of the Wild. But it looks really fun. I actually watched this entire video um, earlier today, and this game looks amazing. It's for the Switch. Uh, I don't. I think it's coming out on a, quite a few other platforms. Um, but check out his uh, his his channel, please. He's amazing. Uh, shameless plug for him because I enjoy his content. Uh, I think he's one of my go-to, uh, Nintendo and other game, um, news guys. So he's, he's very entertaining, very fun, very funny. He just hit a million subscribers. So congrats to him. Um, that was pretty recent. And, uh, but yeah, it used to be, it used to be by a different name. Um, but it does look very much like breath of the wild, but it is done by, uh, Ubisoft. So check that out. It does say Switch, PS4, Xbox Stadia, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PS5. So he also has a Twitch, so check him out there as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope that you guys aren't mad at me for taking almost two months off. It wasn't really me taking off. It just... I was waiting for the boys to be able to get uh, together to do this. So um, I just uh, we've all been busy with the pandemic and with work, with family and stuff like that. So um, thank you guys so much for coming and stopping by. Make sure if you guys are on YouTube, you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you guys want to see more streams, videos, etc., by me, um, check out my Twitch, DLive. Um, and all the other links that I, that are in the description, most likely, uh, on YouTube. So if you go to Chatham's Productions on YouTube, you should find me and you can find everything else. So, um, if you guys really want to support me, check out, um, trovo.live forward slash chatamus and just come over there and hang out with me um help me with the views get the views up so i can get partnered over there again and if you guys enjoy the content and stick around um share me out if you guys can share me and the gaming station podcast um it's been it's been a lot of fun uh doing the podcast i've been wanting to do this forever i know i've probably said that millions of times before um i appreciate everybody that came by i think we hit a hundred and 30 views or 120 views on all the other episodes combined. I appreciate that so much, guys. Um, I didn't expect to do that well at all. Um, and that's that's another reason why I feel really bad not doing a uh, podcast. So um, if you guys play Minecraft, which is one of our first podcasts, is another thing. Another reason why we started doing the podcast was because of Minecraft. I still have the Minecraft realm for the bedrock i believe edition and also my buddy iron skull candy which will probably be on one of the next podcasts coming soon uh he made a java realm which i talked about i was going to make a java realm but this is all the mod six java realm um that you guys could join possibly um it's a little bit different there though um i'm providing the realm on my server for bedrock uh no expense at all you just guys just have to follow the rules he is going to charge three dollars there is a big reason for that it is not cheap um hosting a server so if you guys want to join i think it's three dollars i don't know if it's three dollars a month it might be because it is very expensive i have donated to him um to help keep the uh server open and to keep that price low so three dollars is not much so if you guys want to join that check that out i will have more information on that just message me if you guys want to know anything about that and we'll talk about that with him uh, when he does join um, the Gaming Station podcast as one of our guests slash hosts. So he's a good friend of mine, um, just like Major Monk will be hopefully joining us eventually um, in the future of podcast. And I have other people that I want to join in and to give their sides of video games because this is the Gaming Station. It's all about video games and then other stuff as well. So I know we didn't really talk about anything else in here except for you know pc stuff but uh yeah and also if you guys this is this is still gaming related i guess if you guys know anybody that has a ps vita 3000 series with the box let me know because i am looking to buy one not for four or five hundred dollars because it's not worth that but around there to add to my collection so and also next time i will go ahead and show you guys some of the cool things that i got for uh for cyberpunk and some other stuff too if you guys are interested in that let me know i'm probably just going to show you anyways because you know this is the gaming station presented by chatamus productions but uh 
Yeah, thank you guys so much. If you guys stuck around to this this point right now, um, I appreciate you guys. You guys are the real OGs, and I appreciate you 100%. Uh, look forward to episode nine, um, maybe eight point seven five. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to create a full episode without the the original cast. But uh, if if I have to, I do want to bring you guys the most updated content and the mo- the best content I can provide. So. Um, like I said, if you guys want to help the other guys out, check out the merch store, buy some merch. Uh, those guys will be getting a percentage of the profits. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it from me and the gaming station. So thank you guys again so much. I know I've been rambling on and thanking you guys, but you guys are amazing. Um, thank you for the 120 plus views on the previous episodes. Hopefully we can get like 20 to 30 views on this one. Uh, share it out. If you guys enjoy it so much, I'm going to share as much as I can. Check out the Twitter. We do have a Gaming Station Twitter page now. I think I think I did that. <laughs> Check out the Facebook. We do have the Facebook page, which is going to be down in the description of all the audio and the visual part of this podcast. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, coming to the streams, coming into the podcast. And uh, yeah, it is uh, Gaming Station. Chatham's Productions, Chatham is signing off.